Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of AGR Tech 1 and in this video I'm going to be showing you all how to get free internet tethering on your HTC Desire. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so this video is aimed at some of my viewers who live in countries such as the US where carriers charge additional fees for mobile tethering. So basically what mobile tethering is, is getting your 3G mobile data and spreading it out so you can use it on devices like your PC or your other uh, devices. So it's a great way of effectively maintaining your data usage instead of being on a da uh, different data plan for every device that you have. Uh, so unfortunately in some countries such as the US, carriers will um, charge extra for um, mobile tethering. However, here in Australia we do not have that problem where carriers uh, do not charge for mobile tethering so I wanted to make this video to help you guys out for those of you who do need to pay for mobile tethering so this is a very simple application which I'm about to show you and uh, allows you to get mobile tethering for free uh, on your Android device so this tutorial will be for the HTC Desire so here I have my HTC Desire this is the uh, Telstra uh, variant and it is running on the latest version of Cyanogen Mod 7 so I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do. So the first thing you need to do is go to your settings and you need to head over to applications and once you're in applications you need to turn on unknown sources. It'll give you a warning just tap on OK and you're good to go. Now the reason we need to do this is because if you don't when you install the application you will get some message saying install blocked. So go ahead turn on unknown sources and once you've done if you like you can turn it off once more. So close out of settings and open up your browser and um, once you go into your browser, sorry I had a bit of a problem going on there, um, you basically just want to go to your browser and search for wireless Android Tether and I will have a link uh, down in the description so there you guys can see Android Wi-Fi Tether for root users and it is a Google project so we want to go ahead and tap on that and I will have this link so you won't have to search it and you just want to zoom in here and you'll have uh, all this information regarding the project you want to hit downloads and um, the developers of this application have done a great job uh, they've made many applications of versions of this uh, which work on pretty much all versions of Android uh, so what you need to do is zoom in here and you've got all of the versions you've got betas, experimentals I uh, probably don't recommend the experimental just stick with the beta and if you move over here uh, it should show you what devices uh, it actually supports so go down and find the version that you need so here it says this one works on HTC Nexus 1, Motorola Droid, Samsung Galaxy Click, um, Legend, um, the HTC Evo, uh, HTC Desire. So we're going to pick this one. So this is the Wireless Tether 2.0.8 Pre 1.APK. So you want to go ahead and tap on that or the required version, depending on what version of Android you're running. And then want to go down to here and tap on that to download the file and uh, your browser I'm using Dolphin browser by the way but if you're using the stock browser it'll ask you to download it or just start straight away and you just want to hit OK and it'll begin downloading the files alright so just give it a bit of time to download it's not very large so it shouldn't take too long and once it says download complete you just want to open it up and I've already installed the app as you can see but you just want to hit OK and then install and it will begin installing wireless tether alright so once the application is installed hit done and you can close out of your browser if you wish 
and then go to your app drawer alright and scroll down and you'll have a new application in here by the name of wireless tether so you want to open that and once you open it you'll have this donate so if this application is working for you and uh, you want to support the developers by all means go ahead and donate to them um, they're great developers and um, they will help them out greatly making much more um, great applications so hit close and as you guys can see it says press to start tethering so we want to press and it'll say please wait while starting so just give it a bit of time to start and um, once it starts uh, you should see it appear and you guys can see here it says super user request be sure to hit allow and I, as I mentioned this will require root access so make sure you've rooted your phone and wait for it to start the service this is probably not going to work for me because I do not have a sim card in this phone this is pretty much my test device which I use for ROMs and other stuff so once it uh, turns grey and it'll say press to stop tethering so it's telling you your stats over here so I'm just going to switch over to my PC and show you how to actually connect to the wireless network okay so I've got my device over here I'm just going to put that aside and sorry if the quality isn't the best uh, so you just want to go down if you're using Windows 7 you should see a wireless icon just click on that and you should see a new network by the name of Android Tether click on that and then hit connect and it'll begin connecting so you guys can see it is connecting and just give it a bit of time to connect alright so it's identifying Android Tether and then I'm going to open up Google Chrome and show you that there is an actual internet connection at this stage sorry about this my network is very slow at this stage so I'll pause this video and come back once it's done okay guys so you guys can see Google has loaded up and if I just go over to the search I'll just search for uh, Wi-Fi Tether Hit enter and you guys can see there is an internet connection happening right now and uh, if you wish to do a benchmark just go to speedtest.net and you can go ahead and run a test uh, so of course it will depend on how much data you have and the speed of your data so thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below also like this video and share it with your friends on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video